Hello there and welcome to Inktober Day 4. Now this was a really interesting prompt. The prompt was scallop and initially my head went straight to the pattern which I just started drawing now and then I was like that's a bit boring I can't really do that after bat where I just kind of did the entire page as sort of like a pattern I didn't want to do it again so then I went to the scallop shell which I guess influenced the pattern I'm not sure and then I was kind of like okay we need to have a little bit more to it so I had the idea of making a crab that had the kind of scallop shell so initially I was just practicing with the idea of doing a crab and then I thought well how can I add the shell and make it really obvious that that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for and obviously at this point I hadn't looked at the rest of the prompts so I didn't realize there was actually like a crabby prompt that's gonna be later on in the month so I wanted to do a crab with a scallop shell it's a little bit like a hermit crab but completely different because it has the scallop and I thought this was quite a cool idea but I really like the idea of still doing the pattern in the background so I'm thinking of doing that in the background I do think in this thumbnail it was sort of too too intricate the scallop background was a little bit too much so I did loosen that a little bit on the original one and made it a bit bigger you can see it kind of disappears and it looks like there's quite a lot to try and fit in with the background my thoughts are that I'm gonna do a kind of I suppose it's like ombre blended kind of thing where I add the um, dark ink around the edges of the scallop and then I use a bit of water and blend it up and then that should create a little bit of a distinction between each scallop section avoid the use of line work really because I've got quite a bit of line work in especially the first one and I'm thinking of doing a bit more line work as we go forward and obviously the crab is having line work as well so I didn't want to have solid lines for the background so the idea is the background's going to be quite dark because of the way that it will blend so I wanted the crab to be really nice and light and obviously I added the big scallop shell on top of the crab I wanted it to look quite kind of happy and I guess it doesn't look very accurate to any kind of crab it's I had a vague reference photo and then I just kind of went with it so it doesn't necessarily look like anything but I think you can just about tell it looks like a crab I should have done the crab a little bit more central unfortunately I kind of did the body and forgot about the scallop shell being on top and how big it was gonna be so the crab's body is right in the middle and I didn't factor it in I would have liked the entire thing to be a little bit lower but I kind of thought then I'd have to redo the sketch and it is just a sketchbook at the end of the day I didn't want to redo the entire sketch um, because it's not an original piece it's just a sketchbook work and I wanted to work quite fast for the inktober you know I didn't want to spend too long creating in these really intricate pieces I didn't want to put too much thought into it I did a bit of planning of like really just what pops into my head initially like I don't want to put too much thought into the exact planning of like amazing stuff I just was like okay let's look at the prompt see exactly what pops in my head immediately and just try and create something with it and try and create it quite fast that was the entire process kind of going forward for this and for the background I did struggle a little bit because as you can see I added the dark areas of ink and then by the time I'd kind of gone from one end to the other it was virtually dry so when I added the water it wasn't really blending there was a big line so then I had to make it a lot darker to try and create a blend now the problem with that is the entire background just went so much darker than I had planned obviously I left a row of scallops in between so that it could properly dry but I was just looking at it like well that's you know that's so dark at the point that it joins the next scallop there's hardly going to be much distinction anyway so I did have to make it a lot darker to try and get that I tried to make the others lighter but as I say especially when I was trying to avoid the crab at this point and add the bits of ink around it it just dried by the time I got there I don't know if that's to do with the paper or how fast ink dries I don't really have much experience with ink at all and Although I've tried it on some other papers, I haven't done actual pieces like this. So maybe that's something I'd like to do in future to see if it's the paper issue or not. Unfortunately, the other sketchbook that I'm using is also a mixed media. So I don't really think that it would behave differently on that paper either. So I would have to compare it on something like a 100% cotton, I think, um, to get the actual feel for it. And although I've done some things on the 100% cotton the one that I'm using at the moment is cardi and cardi just tends to dry quickly regardless so 
it would be really hard to judge whether it's actually the paper or whether that's just the kind of behavior of ink you know so then going forward for the bottom scallops I tried to do them all individually and I do think this helped to create that distinction I realized it needed to be significantly lighter on top in order to actually see the scallops because otherwise it would just kind of blend and be a big mess and I think this really did help I think um, at this point you know it was a learning curve I'm just trying to get practice and by that point I'd kind of realized it was gonna dry so fast that I had to just do each of the scallops individually um, it did feel like a little bit of a waste because I had to wash my brush in between and I was kind of washing off ink but you know, I do think it did work. I do really like the background for this one, even though it's a really kind of weird piece and you might be looking at it like, what, what on earth is this? Like, where did this idea come from? I don't know if there's any crabs that actually look like this crab. Um, I've only really seen hermit crabs that have anything like this, but I do really like how the background turned out. I am really happy with it. Unfortunately, it was about this point that I looked at the crab and realized it looks like he has a chef's hat on and yeah, I, I couldn't look at it right. I was just looking at it like this looks like some kind of animated chef crab and I couldn't unsee it and I don't know if you're watching this now if you see that at all, but I really could not unsee it at this point and I think that kind of ruined my thoughts on this piece unfortunately because I just could not take it seriously after that but I'm kind of fine with it looking like a little cooking crab that's that's fine I'm absolutely fine with that I do really like how this piece looks though um I think it does look a lot more professional than all the others it looks a lot more like an actual piece and I think just the control of ink even with just the background the way the water blends of it I think already I'm seeing the improvement you can see a lot of the areas just underneath the crab, which is um, the first row that I did, you can kind of see how it didn't work as well. But I do love how the ink dries completely waterproof. So when I was adding the scallops underneath, it just needed to blend to somewhere in that area. I didn't need to do the full shape because the underneath was completely dry. I did really like that about it. I hope you like this slightly weird crab. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and make sure you're subscribing. I'd love if you could. I will be here every day of October for the rest of Inktober. Bye bye.